Boys and girls, I brought you all in here because I wanted to talk to you about a couple of things. There's people that talk about you that don't even know you. You know what they say, there's lots of fights. There's lots of trouble. Well, we're going to change that. We don't want nobody talking about our school a certain way no more. We are not here to be average. We're here to be amazing. Does everybody understand? Yes, sir. And by the way, you have to be the change. You know, in education, we've got a huge problem. You've got to move away from this archaic educational process where we build these schools on square boxes and kids fill these square boxes. The world isn't a square box no more. Time's changed. Kids have changed and we've got to move with that. How far are you willing to go for a child? My name is Hamish Brewer and I am not your typical principal. I'm trying to change the game for principal. You know, what's funny is I've always seen myself as an educational disruptor because I was so frustrated with the way education has been done for so long. I think I was just on a mission to disrupt the norm. Before I got to Occoquan, Occoquan was a sleepy little school. It was ready to be awoken and we awoken the beast there. If there was a way to make that experience for our kids authentic and relevant, we were gonna do it. We went to unlimited field trips. We changed the lighting to daylight bulbs. We went to an audio enhanced classroom, revolutionized the classroom. And so as a school, we went in that direction, then it just exploded from there. In five years, we won five School of Excellence awards. We're not defined by letter grades. We're not defined by a number. We're defined by what we do. It's unbelievable the journey at Occoquan is coming to an end. We created such a magical experience for kids and adults and you know I want to get back to disrupting the flow again and it's sad to say goodbye but I'm excited now to say that I'm transitioning this summer to be the new principal at Fred Lynn Middle School. When I was a kid I was always dreaming of the things I didn't have or couldn't have. That became my inspiration and my aspiration. I think part of what, what makes my principalship and leadership style so successful is that I'm trying not to repeat the mistakes that were made for me. I was one of these kids. I know what it's like to come from a separated family. I know what it's like to see too much alcohol and other things and all poverty that comes with it. I know what it's like to eat pizza because it's cheaper to get a piece of pizza that night than it is to have a full meal. When you can relate to them on that level, that's when you can change the game. This work isn't for everybody. You gotta hear and see things that might really break your heart, reminding you of how much work is left to do, you know? In schools where you've got a lot of diversity and a lot of poverty, often folks don't always stay. These kids have people revolving in and out of their lives. I have to be the constant. I came here because I wanted to be here. I want Fred Lynn. I want this school. Historically, Fred Lynn has underachieved. It hasn't been where we wanted it to be. We want that explosion of growth now. We want to unlock its true potential. If this doesn't change, I've failed a community. I've failed children. I can't fail. This community is counting on me. This community knows me, they believe in me. I can't fail them. That's not an option. You just want a counter, nothing underneath it, right? All right, done, done. Consider it done. Give me your receipt, sign it, I'll pay for it. It doesn't matter where I am, I wanna do something magical. And I'm gonna look for those opportunities in a building to do that. I'm doing it here at Fred Lynn, I did it at Occoquan. This is my house, like, this is, this is mine now. Welcome to my house. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is to change the face of a facility. I want to make it that most amazing a place for kids to come. I don't want them to be shortchanged on anything. These kids have enough shortchanged in their life, let alone coming to a school and being shortchanged in a school. 
the kids at Fred Lynn are gonna see and feel a different message. To go to a place they've never been before and they're surrounded by that. When you can look on a wall and you see Dr. King or you see Steve Jobs, you instantly go to a new place. We have to unlock the potential of these kids. We have to be the advocate for them, the voice for them that's never been. When I was a kid, the most amazing experiences I had, I was having fun. I've tried to recreate that here at Fred Lynn. Everything I do is about kids. Every decision I make comes back to was I better for kids today. It's about having fun. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming out. Mr. Brew, the new principal, I appreciate you guys coming out. I had a bunch of teachers. Do you want us to come help? And I'm like, nah, we might get 10 people. I'm in trouble. The place is packed. <laughs> It's so important to have buy-in from the community because that's what's going to move the needle forward. If we don't have buy-in, nothing changes. How you doing? Good to see you. Is this your guy? Yes. I am Mr. Brewer, your new principal, and I am super excited to be the new principal, the new director here at Fred Lynn Middle School! Yes! Woo! I came from a school that was one of the very best in the nation. We did not start that way but we finished that way, and we plan to make Fred Lynn the next best school in the nation, all right? Yes! I can't do this without you. You're signing up to be part of an amazing school and changing the narrative of what happens in Woodbridge, what happens at Fred Lynn, and I need you, all right? There's no opt out. All in means all in. We have a gang mentality almost here. You're either in our gang or you're not. There's no opting out of what we want to do and achieve. All hands on deck, all hands on deck. Let's go. Open them up, let's go. All right, let's go. Game time, game time, let's go. Good morning, Hornets, it's our time, it's go time. It's going to be special this year. I want to see you thinking about being relentless. Also, in this, if somebody didn't tell you today they love you, Mr. Brew is telling you today that he loves you. Have a great day. Down low, down low, down low. Up high, up high. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get to class, let's hustle. So today's first day at Fred Lynn Middle School, first day back. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Great job. You guys excited today? I'm excited to see you guys with big on manners, all right? Mr. Bruce chasing that stuff down. You know, we've had principals sometimes where the kids are like, who is the principal? I mean, that's awful, right? He's showing the kids what the expectation is, but he's also coming into our classroom. I mean, they're gonna know who he is in three seconds. Already you have kids saying, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. You have kids looking you in the eye saying, good morning. They're walking on the correct side of the hallway. They're more on time. I texted some of the teachers from Aquinquan and said he's doing it again. That transition and that energy, it's, it's contagious. I feel alive again. I feel like, hey, this is why I became a teacher, was to do cool stuff so we can inspire these kids. If you weren't a believer before today, you're a believer now. Never again will anybody doubt us. I'm going to tell you why I'm asking you to work so hard. Because life ain't easy. Life is not going to give you a handout. We are going to change the conversation about our school, and I need your help. You have to be the answer. You have to be the change. You're going to be relentless. If we can help people grow or help people be the change or evolve to that place, then we've helped all kids. You know, it's got to be beyond just what we did here at Arkhokwan or Fredlin. The ultimate goal is to help all kids. All kids deserve this. You know? Bah. Who's your favorite principal today? Right now. Yeah, good answer. Who, who? Oh, this is great. Can I come hang out in your class? All right, Mr. T, let's roll. You guys are crazy. You're having way too much fun in here. Stop that. Stop that business. <laughs>